Let's start by looking at the day of a customer success manager. One of the biggest concerns CSMs have is that an account is going off track and they don't know about it until it's too late. Tutango takes care of that with real-time email notifications sent to each CSM with important events such as a new onboarding account or an account becoming at risk. In this email, I get a quick snippet about the account and can dig into more details and I'll show that a little bit later. These notifications are tremendously useful as I no longer have to worry about missing important events with my customer. Tutango keeps an eye on them for me. But Tutango does more than just spit out alerts. It allows you to build a view of the entire customer base and where each one is at in their customer journey. Here I'm showing this with our built-in Tutango Salesforce.com customer success dashboard with four key lifecycle stages which Tutango tracks in real time for me a list of my onboarding projects, accounts that are about to renew soon. I can actually see that some are not doing so great and I'll want to reach out right away to get them back on track before the renewal date. And here I see a list of all the t accounts that Tutango flagged at risk and require my immediate attention. This is sort of a uh, CSM inbox of accounts used to prior prioritize and plan my outreach for the day. Now you can also get these views directly onto Tango using our active list interface. Here I'm showing a slightly different use case where I can generate a list of all accounts that have not used a certain function in our product. This is useful when a new product capability is introduced to the market and the success team is working to drive adoption in the existing customer base. Similar views can be built to um, manage upsell candidates or accounts at risk. Anyone can create such a list for themselves and share lists can be used by the entire teams as best practices and, and shared KPIs. Now from any one of these places I can drill down to a Tutango account profile which gives me more information about the account, more context about them, a list of their recent activities, engagement level, detailed trends and analysis. This is the page I'd like to review before communicating with any customer so I have more rich and accurate context and can drive the conversation accordingly. So let's summarize. With Tutango for customer success, you can model your customer's journey from first usage to an established customer, generate alerts for each team member about events relevant to that customer journey that they need to know about and react to, segment accounts based on any behavior and condition, so you can manage them accordingly and, and drive them forward, and use the Tutango rich account profile to get better context about each account, their status, condition, and trends. The result is a team that is more proactive, efficient, and effective in driving customer success.